Hi everyone, welcome back to another interview series. My name is Maher from Newfoundland and Labrador. And today I have the privilege to interview another career coach, Matt Warzel from North Carolina. Hi Matt, how are you doing? I'm doing well, Mayor. Thank you again for having me and, and uh, nice to, to uh, hopefully see all you folks out there. So thank yeah, you for thank the opportunity you, thank to you for being here. So Matt is an accomplished career coach, a resume writer, helping job seekers land higher paying roles. And he does, and his mission is to provide a career transition that takes the guesswork out of the updating your resumes and bring out the positive aspects of change. So my first question for you is, Matt, in terms of as a career coach yourself, what are some of the trends you've been seeing in 2022? And uh, what do you think future will be about job search? Yeah, that's a great question. And, and a little bit of a loaded question in terms of the, the latter part, because you know, the future right now with HR and job hunting is completely evolving. And yes. uh, obviously, the pandemic streamlined a bit of what was going to be happening anyway with technology and, and embedment. But um, I'll say the first part of the question in terms of like the trends and kind of challenges um, that I see, mm -hmm. I have never seen this many career changers come to me for solutions. Mm -hmm. um, I usually, you know, you had your bulk, but a lot of times it was just lateral folks or maybe undercover job seekers trying to get things yeah. prepared. Um, now it's just a slew of career changers. So I think that is not going away. I think a lot of people and this kind of piggyback off of that notion to, to elaborate more about, you know, the fact that I think people are now starting to try to get their own, get, get themselves what they're due and kind yeah. of make a life for themselves that they're happy to go spend a third of the time with, you know, people around them that quite frankly, maybe currently annoy the heck out of them. So, yeah. um, you know, we spend a lot of work, a lot of time at work, whether we're self-employed like you and I, and gosh knows those hours just, you know, they, they just are all over the board yeah. or you have an eight to five in your regimen. And so um, I think first and foremost, that's not going away. I think the, the era of entrepreneurship, um, we've seen it throughout, you know, history, entrepreneurism, uh, but um, I mean, you, I mean, nowadays people with social media and having a platform and easily accessible tools to yeah. post website, blog, et cetera. So I think that's not going away. I do see a biggest challenge with personally the, the job seekers individually mm -hmm. come to me is not knowing how to go from A to Z. If Z is their ideal role, yeah. whether, or, or a startup that they've been thinking about doing mm -hmm. how to just start putting that practical pieces in place. So, uh, it's nice that I, kind of sometimes utilize my career coaching to also push in a little bit of the business coaching too so yeah. and do you think that uh, with covid all those transferable skills and experiences that job seekers had are they're going to talk they're going they're talking about and is the hiring managers listening or they want really specific uh skill sets that's a great question too so it's funny i think Obviously, industry, location, you know, mm -hmm. et cetera, uh, company, and, and, and all that it varies. But uh, if we're going to give it a macro level answer, I would say that hiring managers are, I think, finally on board to understand that their candidate experience is important. Mm -hmm. And I think it's because, obviously, back in the day, people aren't going to take a newspaper ad saying Apple stunk at interviewing. Uh, but now we've got the glass doors of the world and, yeah. and the fish bowls and uh, anywhere, you, you know, Facebook. So when people are clamoring and things get viral and et cetera, mm -hmm. companies watch that stuff now and they don't want to be in the, on the bad side of anything. So I think they, they, they kind of tread lightly in some walk in some circles where they used to not care, uh, including maybe the candidate experience. So I've seen a lot of uptick in terms of budget towards that. Now, then again, though, look at DEI. DEI yeah. became a huge thing, uh, after George Floyd. Yeah. And now it seems like the budgets are being exhausted again and stuff. So it's like, you know, same as the old, uh, uh, well, uh, what is it? The, the who lyrics, you know, same as the old boss. So, I mean, who knows when it comes to the stakeholders at the top that we uh -huh. don't know what they're pulling, what strings. Um, let's hope that it will make yeah. changes for us kind of at the bottom of the rung in, in terms of yeah. wealth with society. Um, yeah. But even if not, at least now they're giving more money because they have to, because yeah. either the talent on the bench that is qualified doesn't want to come work for them or they're just willing to train and let's offer some, some, you know, salary that's just used yeah. to be uh, unfathomable. So 
you know, we'll see that again. Okay. I, I can't, you know, see, I, I just, I praise the CHROs out there. <laughs> Those are great tips, Matt. I really enjoyed it. So for the audience watching or listening for the first time, I'm going to ask Matt a couple of questions and I'm going to post them on a daily basis, kind of a journey with us. You can like all the videos, share, make comments. So tune in tomorrow for another great question with Matt.